pregame has wrapped. The Cougars are on the court. Toulson drive, steps back, 18-footer. Go! Oh! Take the make with one second on the shot clock. BYU basketball is presented by Deseret First Credit Union. You know why? We show how. Les Olson, your technology partner. Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Also sponsored by State Farm. Talk to an agent today at 1-800-STATE-FARM. It's time to play BYU basketball. To Haas for Big three. Shot. Yes! And the Cougars take the lead. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's pause 10 seconds now for station identification on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Radio on KBYU FM HD2 Provo. You were listening to BYU Basketball on BYU Radio. Now tonight's starting lineups, courtesy of America First, Utah's top credit union. We'll start with the home team, the Gonzaga Bulldogs, 19-1 on the year, 5-0 in the WCC. Number four, Ryan Woolridge at the point. Number 11, Joel Ayayi at the two. Number 24, Corey Kispert at the three. Number 33, Killian Tilly at the four. And the center, Philip Petrushev, number three. And so the starting five feature three foreigners, Ayayi and Tilly from France and Petrushev from Serbia. Mark Durant introduces your BYU Cougars. Backcourt for BYU is number 30, TJ Haas. Number four, Alex Barcelo. Jake Toulson at number five rounds out the backcourt for the Cougars. Number 33, Dalton Nixon's your four-man. And at the five spot, the big fella, number 40, Colby Lee out of Meridian, Idaho. That's your starting five. Fourth, 14 and five Cougars, three and one in conference. Just one and three in true away games. All those losses in overtime. BYU, I think, would be good if they're going to overtime against Gonzaga here tonight. they got to keep going. You can't. It's not a game you can get down 18-2 to two and win this time. You've got to be in this game with Gonzaga. Come out aggressive and be in the game. If Yoli Childs is to play, it'll be off the bench tonight. BYU in the road. Royals with white. And Gonzaga in the home whites with blue and red. The officials tonight, Michael Greenstein, Michael Irving, and Daryl Delinas. Mr. Greenstein has the ball ready for play. Is controlled by BYU. Gonzaga actually won the tap, but to Dalton Nixon in front court. So BYU goes left to right as we see it and you hear it. First possession of the game for BYU away from us to our right. Alex Barcelo is on the left wing. The pass goes right wing to Jake Toulson, guarded by Kispert. Toulson wheels to the top. Left wing, Lee. The handoff to TJ. Pull-up jumper at the yes. free throw line is good. good so TJ Haas gets BYU up to a 2-0 lead. He's got so good at coming off that screen. Pulling up for that 15-footer, Greg. Corey Kispert on the top. Woolridge on the right wing. Killy and Tilly now. Short corner right side. Posting up on Toulson. And the jumper is good by Tilly over Toulson. A little fade away by Killian. And we're tied at 2. 45 seconds in. It's more of a three-point shooter. That was a nice back-down turnaround jumper. Right corner, Jake Toulson. Again, has Kispert on him. Takes him to the right junction. Pulls it out to Kobe Lee on the arc left side. The handoff to Barcelo. Barcelo into the paint. Teardrop is good for A.B. And BYU takes a 4-2 lead. They just like the aggressiveness. They're not intimidated. They've come out firing. Tilly on the bump. Right wing to Woolridge. Woolridge, top of the key. Lost the dribble. Gets it back to Ayayi. Joel Ayayi. Got the seal with Tilly. Tilly's jumper's no good. The jump hook is rebounded by Dalton Nixon. Up to TJ. Cross court right side to Jake Toulson. Toulson on the arc right. Thought about the three. The slip screen roll low to Nixon. Nixon Lee. Lee guarded by Petrushev. And oh, the jump hook rolls off. No good. First miss in a while for Colby. Just rimmed out. Had gone 8 for 8 Thursday. Misses his first try there. But would have put BYU up 6-2. to two. Good look by Colby. Didn't go over Petr- Petrushev. Ayayi. Left wing Kispert. There's Petrushev. Sees a double on the left block. Passes out of it to Ayayi, top of the key. Woolridge open, hand in the corner. Tilly for three in the lead. No, and Petrushev is held. It'll be a foul on BYU. Trying to deal with Petrushev. And so Dalton Nixon picks it up. First foul of the game, one minute, 40 seconds in. Cougars got the miss, couldn't get the rebound. And Petrushev is a handful down there. He goes 6'11", 225, the sophomore from Belgrade. They had position, position, but the long rebound made it... Really tough against a big guy like Petrusia. Leading scorer and rebounder at 16.7 and 7.9. Off the inbound, Kispert missed the baseline jumper. And it's rebounded by Barcelo. 
So Gonzaga is off to a one for four shooting start. BYU has the 4 2 lead. Two minutes gone here in the kennel. Marcelo, bounce pass, short corner left to Lee. Lee. Bounces twice on Petrusev. Three and four and five dribbles. Six dribbles. Picks it up. Step through. Off the window. Good! With a soft little left hand for Colby Lee. Taking Petrushev down low and on the bounce. Right to the rim. Up and in. Six to two, BYU. Just muscled him. No double came. You're probably not going to get that with Colby. And he just kept backing him down. Tilly left wing. Ayayi. Straight away. Woolridge. Drives Barcelo away. Pulls it out to the top. Will drive it to the right block. Pass in the corner. And turned over by the Zags. Dalton. It is BYU basketball. Two minutes, 29 seconds in. And the Cougs up 6-2. to two. Strong start for BYU. Great anticipation with Dalton. He hits it, then it deflects off of Tilly on the sideline. BYU basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 25 years. Marcelo. Oh, miscommunication. Oh, saved by Jake Toulson near side. That almost went out of bounds. Jake rescued the possession. Jake to the bump. Jake pulls it left wing. Screen set by Nixon as he rolls low. Jake will teardrop it and short rim it. Rebound Gonzaga. BYU back in transition defense. Pick and roll pass low to Petrushev. A step through and a score right at the rim. Philip Petrushev makes it 6-4. to four. BYU's lead down to two. TJ front court left side. Barcelo to the trailer. Nixon. Nixon right wing. TJ. TJ free to the top. The pick and roll pass to Nixon. Bobbled. Ball on the floor and it's tied up. What do we have? Alternate possession will go to Gonzaga with 16.48 to go until halftime. BYU basketball brought to you by Edge. At Edge, we sell pest control, knock doors, and love it. With your commitment and our managers, you will sell more and have an amazing experience. Join us. Check us out on social media at EdgeD2D or visit us online, EdgeD2D.com. Colby Lee checks out Zach Selyus in for BYU. Pretty small team. Dalton's got his hands full with Petrusha. 16-40 to go in the first half. 6-4, BYU the early two-point lead. Kispert to Tilly outside the left block. Bangs into Selyus. Tilly restarts on Zach, passes out for the lead, Woolridge for three, back rims it, and the rebound, Cougars lost it. Try to get it back, and they do on the sideline, oh, what a pass ahead, stolen back away from Gonzaga. A behind-the-back blind pass, ultimately picked off by the Zags, and it's in front court with Ayayi, stepping back for three in the right corner, and that's good. And Gonzaga's in front off a crazy sequence. Nixon top of the key. Seven to six Zags. Five in a row for Gonzaga. TJ right to the rim. Hand off Nixon. Nixon at the rim. Good. The assist to Haas. And Dalton Nixon lays it off the window. An early UCCU smart decision for BYU from TJ Haas. And TJ draws the charge. He does. On the other end. Timeout on the floor. Ayayi picks it up. It is Gonzaga's first. Timeout on the floor. 15-52 to go. And BYU back in front by one. Eight to seven our score. On the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the Mo Betta's courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Just before the timeout, T.J. Haas dropping it off to Dalton Nixon for the lay-in. We called that our UCCU smart decision, Haas to Nixon. Here's a smart decision, UCCU 4321 cashback credit card, giving you up to 4% cashback on the spending you do the most. UCCU, love where you bank. BYU 8 and Gonzaga 7 is our early score. The Cougs off to a solid start, 4 of 6. From the field, Gonzaga three of seven. Gonzaga hasn't spent a lot of time this year behind in a game. BYU's been up most of this first few minutes, and really nice job. TJ coming off that high screen is able to get in the paint. He dished it off to Nixon. He scored a little jumper. That's that's important for BYU to, to kind of get inside that perimeter defense and put some pressure on the D. Gonzaga's last three halftime leads, 36, 16, and 37 points. Is that good? Sounds sounds good. Yeah. BYU has the early one point lead, eight to seven. Fifteen fifty two to go. Here you in know, the first sometimes half. you know Gonzaga really hasn't played a good team for a little while, and BYU's good, and so that that can be a little shock for them as well. All right, Celius inbounds. T.J. Haas. T.J. with Celius, Toulson, Marcelo, and Nixon. A.B. twenty five feet away, left side. T.J. top side. Screen and roll low to Dalton, and Dalton's held on the drive. And Petrushev has his first. We'll keep an eye on that. Petrushev has his first foul. The Zags have their second, and 
Just like that, they'll take Petrushev out and not risk the second early. Drew Timmy will check in. More size off the bench. Timmy, 6'10", 235, freshman from Richardson, Texas. Consecutive double-doubles coming into tonight's game. He's been playing well of late. Selyus off the inbound on the baseline. Nixon up top to hand off to Haas. Haas back to the basket, 25 feet away right side. Oh, a long two blocked, and Tilly comes down with it. Tilly front court. Tilly down the barrel, pulls it out to the right wing. Killy and Tilly on the three-point line. Terminates and hands high to Admon Gilder. Gilder's checked in on the guard line. Woolridge drives Barcelo. Barcelo called for the arm bar as he tried to keep Woolridge from progressing. And so on AB number one, on BYU number two, team fouls even two apiece for four minutes and 40 seconds in here in the kennel. BYU eight, Gonzaga seven. Ryan Woolridge will send in the fifth-year transfer from North Texas. Count gets to three. Gets out to Kispert on the near sideline. The ball's reversed on the right wing to Gilder. Gilder on the bump. Left wing Kispert. And the, so the seal for Timmy. And Timmy was being held. Couldn't reach the pass. And so a hold on BYU. That'll be first on TJ. Third on the Cougs. And the Zags will do it again on the baseline. Out of bounds under. Connor Harding enters. And TJ Haas exits. But TJ got switched on a big man. Was trying to front. And a little too physical. Four Cougs, two points apiece right now. Woolridge into Kispert left corner. Gonzaga right to left as we see it and you hear it here in half number one. The ball reversed to Woolridge. Stripe extended right side. Woolridge on the right wing. Terminates. Timmy lobs low. Tilly collects and scores at the rim. Just too much height down low and BYU's got small guys trying to keep the yeah. ball away from a tall guy. They switch and then they try and front and get backside help but Gonzaga was just better on that play. Nixon on the bump. BYU's yet to hit a three in this game. BYU's now down by a score of 9-8 to eight on the Tilly make. Tilly's got four. There's a three and a miss from Toulson. Left wing. Rebound Tilly. Tilly. Woolridge. Woolridge past the timeline. Woolridge little crossover left wing. Left corner. Kispert for three. And that's no good. Rebound Timmy. Pulls it down and resets for Gonzaga. The three from Gilder is good. Now those offensive rebounds are killer. All your guys are going for it. They kick it out for a wide open three. Gonzaga has a four point lead now at 12 to 8. 5 0 run. Toulson gets free low, and Zach Selya spots him. And Jake off the window for two. BYU within two at 12 to 10. Good answer for the Cougs. All five starters have scored a bucket for BYU. Left wing Woolridge, left corner Tilly. Tilly to Timmy, who flashes to the left block to receive the pass. He posts up on Harding. Timmy. Out to Tilly on the left wing. Timmy Tilly, Tilly step back, three, in and out. Rebound, Zach Selyus. Outlet, Toulson. BYU front court, right side. Cooks down 12 to 10. And they're still looking for their first three-point make of the night. Toulson will drive Tilly low. Pull it into the painted area. Terminate and go left wing, Harding. Down to a 15-second shot clock. Connor to the top on Kispert. Hand off A.B. Barcelo straight away. Down to a 10-second shot clock. Nixon and now Toulson hand off left wing. Jake guarded by Timmy. The spin on him. The send out. A.B. for three in the lead. No, it's off the iron. The window and no good. Rebound. Ryan Woolridge. Woolridge. Past the Bulldog logo at center court. Starts at left wing. Kispert. 13-15 to go. The drive and the attempted dish by Kispert is deflected and picked off. BYU That's the Selyus. other way. A.B. cross court. Touch pass. Velius to Nixon. Nixon on the wing right side. He'll hand high to Toulson. BYU still down 12-10. to 10. 13 even to go until halftime. Jake. A step back on Gilder. The pick and roll low to Nixon. Nixon, one hand bounce to Selyus. Selyus banks and misses, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws to tie the game. Should have been a traveling on Nixon, but he recovers. And I saw back cut from Selyus. So team fouls now three apiece. That one's on Kispert. He has one. Ayayi has one. Petrushev has one. And for BYU, Haas, Barcelo, and Nixon, each a foul apiece. 12-10. Gonzaga leading it. BYU at the line. Zach Selyus for two. Zach shooting 81% at the free throw line this season. BYU basketball brought to you by JCW's. Dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody from burgers to wings, shakes to salads. JCW's quality and a lot of it in Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan are now open in Harriman. Selyus missing the first of two. Selyus an 80% plus 80% guy. Got to get these free throws too, too valuable. And now we have a scoring issue, a scoreboard or shot clock issue and they're unplugging and plugging in devices here on the sideline they're gonna the team's thought about taking the officials time out at the sideline but they're gonna wave them back in for the second free throw BYU down 12 to 10 
Celia shooting the second of two, missed the first. He just got iced on the second free throw by this short delay. And makes it anyway. 12-11, BYU within at one. Cougar large lead has been four. Gonzaga's large lead has been four. Wilrich, right wing, Gilder. Gilder sees Timmy flash low, gives to Tilly up high. Now the pass goes low to Timmy, and Timmy no trouble there. Right off the rim, up and in for Drew Timmy, his first two. And the Zags up three, 14 to 11. BYU's fronting everything, and they've been hurt on the over-the-top pass a couple times. TJ low to Zach, another great find, and BYU doing some nice work in the paint. And Zach Selyus flashes low, and yes, the Zags have height, but BYU's been crafty in getting position down low. They make it a 14-13 game, BYU down one. It's hard for Gonzaga big men to, to chase a guy like Selyus and Nixon everywhere because they're out setting screens on this slip screen. Gilder drives the baseline. He lays it up and in. He gets right to the rim. And the score makes it 16-13 to 13 Gonzaga. And the up-tempo Zags leading it by three. Selye's top of the key. Oh, he traveled before he took the bump from Gilder with 12.05 to play until halftime. BYU turns it over. A little bit of make- makeup for the no call on Nixon's traveling. Evan Troy is going to get some early minutes. Yoli Childs is in uniform and remains on the bench, warmed up with the team, and was officially a game-time decision. We're eight minutes in, haven't seen him yet, may not see him tonight. We shall see how this thing goes. Big week coming up for BYU, regardless of the outcome tonight. Two huge games next week at at Pacific and San Francisco. Those games in a lot of ways are more important than this one. This is is obviously a tough one for BYU. They need those next two. Ayayi. Just inside the arc, right side, the handoff there to Ryan Woolridge. Woolridge, a left-hand dribble to the top of the key. Goes between his legs, still on the bump. Goes left wing Tilly. Timmy on the post up, left block. The double comes, the ball's knocked away. If it's a tie-up, it'll go to BYU on the arrow, and it will be BYU on the arrow right after this. Good tie-up for the Cougs. 11.42 to go until halftime. 16-13, Zags lead the Cougs. 11.42 to go until the break on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. Elsewhere in the West Coast Conference, second half action at Santa Clara. It is the Broncos leading Pacific 42-33 and 11 minutes to go in the first half. Portland with a two-point lead over San Diego at 13-11. Back to Gonzaga and Greg Rubel. Jason, thank you. It's a 16-13 Gonzaga lead, 11.42 to go until halftime here at the Kennel. BYU fans, whether you want to sit courtside or score a bird's eye view, StubHub is the best place to grab your Cougar ticket. StubHub, the official ticketing partner of the BYU Cougars. StubHub, be there. Mark Durant, Greg Rubel here in Spokane. BYU within three and with the basketball as we come back in. 11.42 to go until halftime. The Cougar lineup, Haas, Celius, Troy, Harding, Lee. You know, watch and shoot around. BYU switching on the big screen for Gonzaga. And guards are fronting the big men. Make, make it, you have to pass over the top. It's a tough pass, but Gonzaga does it well. Kobe Lee, right wing, dribble handoff. TJ Haas, a fake low, a shot. Oh, a free throw line miss from TJ Haas. He faked the pass low and then shot from 10 feet and just missed it. A bit of a drought for BYU. Cooks down three. Gilder to the bump. Right wing Woolridge back to Gilder. Against Kansas, they had so many droughts. Can't afford it here tonight. Tilly on the post up. Mid post left. Fade away. In and out. Rebound Evan Troy. Nice. Clears to TJ Haas. BYU front court right side. It's looking for their first three pointer. TJ will drive it hand off but turn it over to Joel Ayayi. Kind of a blind pass and it was turned over. The banker goes from Ryan Woolridge at the other end. He ran it right to the hoop. And scores his first two to put the Zags up by five for the first time tonight, 18 to 13. BYU's, like as Mark said, on a bit of a scoreless drought currently. Shot miss to the top. I could lob that to Colby Lee, but hit the rim. Ayayi floats it and scores it. And now the Zags are up seven. Joel Ayayi got into the paint. Dropped it over the 10 for two. Seven-point lead, 20-13. to 13. A.B. and Tulsa will come back in for BYU. 10-22 to go before half Possession's halftime. turning into fast breaks. You've got to have a good possession, and that'll slow their offense. Evan Troy, top of the key, into the paint. Banks and scores. Just kept going. No one stopped him. Nice shot. Just lean back with the right hand. And a kick out of bounds. BYU gets within five. Big bucket for BYU. Things kind of getting away a little bit. And now it's five-point game, 20-15, to 15, almost halfway through half number one. Marcelo Toulson in, Harding Lee out. So Coach Pope 
Looking for the right combination here early in this one. Evan Troy's played well since coming in. A nice rebound, rebound and a yep. make. He's, He's a good there. defender, too. That's why he plays when he does, is he can play some of these guards for Gonzaga. This is his 40th career game played. He's now scored in a third game this season. Wilrich will drive it down the lane, take a bump from A.B., bank and score. Man, they strong just go move. Downhill, man, they just go. 22-15, to 15. BYU down seven. And still without a three-point bucket are the Cougs. Barcelo wheels through the baseline. There's an open three. Got to get it, and no off the back iron from Dalton Nixon. BYU 0 for 3 from 3. A scoop and a block out of bounds. Last touch by Gonzaga. Stay BYU basketball. 9.34 to go. BYU down 7 here in the first half. 22 to 15. They're doing a good job getting looks, but just cannot hit it. This BYU team, one of the best in three-point shooting. Gonzaga's so efficient. you got to keep pace, and BYU's having a, having a hard time. Celius cycles it right wing to Toulson. Toulson to the cutter. Barcelo. Barcelo into the paint. The handoff bobbled by Nixon. Back to AB. Open three. Celius. That's no good. And rebounded by Gonzaga. 0 for 4 from deep. AB sees Ayayi float over him and miss. Rebound BYU. Down floor Alex Barcelo. He'll try the transition triple and that's no good. 0 for 5 from 3. <laughs> Just Nine minutes to even to go till halftime. Rush yourself against a team like this. Petrushev, left wing, Ayayi. The baseline feed low to Petrushev, right to the rim, but he missed it. Gets his own rebound, fouled on it. He'll get two free throws. Philip Petrushev, the 68% free throw shooter, will go to the line for two. Dalton Nixon receives his second foul. Celius got the initial block and forced the miss, but Petrushev, when he's that close, is going to go up and reach up and get the rebound. Well, BYU begins today as they began Thursday night. 0 for 5 from the three-point line. Alex Barcelo made the first three on Thursday to get BYU settled in. And no one has thus yet settled the Cougars in from the perimeter tonight. And that's the difference in the game right now. It's BYU 0 for 5 from the three-point line. And Gonzaga 2 of 6, part of an eight-point lead now, 23-15. And the last three were wide open. And, uh, they're not going to get better looks from the three-point line than those. To 9 to 2, Gonzaga run right now. The second free throw is missed, though, by Petrushev. He goes 1 for 2 on that trip. BYU the rebound. Cougs down 8, have not been double, double digits down yet. Want to keep this thing within shouting distance. Jake Toulson on the bump. Who's going to take over a little bit for BYU here? Jake will drive it, step back, take a long 2, and miss it back iron. Kobe went for the rebound, couldn't squeeze it. Gonzaga the other way, up 8, 23, 15. Ayayi to the trailer, Timmy on the top. Timmy. We'll take it right to the rim, hand off to Petrushev. A nice strip by T.J. Haas, Steel Cougars. Hanging in down eight here, 23-15, <laughs> but desperate for a make. T.J. leans back, banks, and no, that goes back. Rim, oh, a big tip follow by Colby Lee. Colby Lee scores to make it a six-point game. The one-hand follow off the miss by Haas, and BYU's within six, 23-17, 8.05 to go until halftime. T.J. drew so many defenders, it was an easy tip in for Lee. No one to block him out. Ayayi terminates high to Petrushev. Back to Ayayi, who screens for Ayayi, does Petrushev. Joel will drive it, pull it out to the base left and terminate. Joel Ayayi pressured into a pass to Gilder on the left perimeter. Gilder between the circles, picks up his dribble, gives to Kispert. Kispert step back three, blocked by Toulson into the hands of Petrushev. Down to four, down to three on the shot clock and bowled out of bounds by Gonzaga. And BYU basketball will be come back. BYU down six. 23-17, 7.39 to go until halftime. We're taking a break on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Coming to you live from the Mo Betta's courtside seats here in Spokane, Washington. BYU and Gonzaga. Zags up six. 23-17, 7.39 to go. Until the break, you could text the word OCEAN to 88588 for a free mini Kahlua pig plate from Mo Betta's Hawaiian-style food. Again, text the word OCEAN to 88588 for some free Mo Betta's food. Mo Betta's style is eating the best food with ohana, or family. And in Hawaii, we're all family. All right, BYU being outshot from the field and the arc currently. BYU 8 for 19, 42%, and 0 for 5 from deep. The Zags have made two threes, 2 for 7. They're shooting 
thus far in the first half. BYU being led by the modest four points from Colby Lee, but seven Cougs have scored, all between two and four points. Need to be a little more patient, not rush things, not do too much one-on-one. Barcelo right corner, BYU left to right as we see it and you hear it here in half number one. Toulson stumbles into the alley, pulls it out to the left wing, and now squares to face on Killian Tilly. Gives him his backside on the left baseline. Still on the bounce is Toulson. Under 10 on the shot clock. Pass picked off by Kispert. Kispert down floor, Ayayi. A lot of bouncing by Toulson there, ending in a turnover. Tilly, right wing, Woolridge, right corner, Kispert. Six turnovers already for BYU. Yeah, it's not going to do. Tilly to the right wing. Reverse, Woolridge, Ayayi, three, air ball. And then Tilly. Oh, man, they're going to call it Harding for fouling Tilly who reached right over Connor and pulled the rebound in front of his face well Connor definitely had inside position but again a bad miss pays off for Gonzaga they've kept uh, some possessions alive here off of missed shots here in the first half 23-17 BYU down 6 with 6.57 to play until halftime Petrushev Kispert for 3 yep Jake got himself caught up on a couple screens. you got to be able to get through those screens. 26-17. Zag's game-high lead is 9 now, and three-point shooting is the difference in this game. Three for Gonzaga, none for BYU. And that's your nine-point difference right there. Marcelo gets right to the rim, blocked by Petrushev. And here come the Zags the other way. Kispert's fouled by A.B. A.B. was trying to get away from Kispert. Kispert was the one initiating the contact. He trips, and... A.B. gets the foul. That'll be team foul six. Barcelo one for four from the field. And now fouling and staying on the floor is Barcelo. BYU's down nine right now. And team foul six to Gonzaga's three. Things getting away a little bit from BYU. I think if you're going to play Yoli, it's probably about now that you you see if he can go or else don't play him. Left wing Woolrich takes Barcelo high, back left wing outside the perimeter to Tilly. Tilly on the bump to Kispert. Kispert whips it low to Tilly and that's a soft little jump hook that makes it an 11 point lead for Gonzaga. Killy and Tilly's got six and the Zags now up double digits as they've been most of the time at halftime in games this season. TJ Haas, stripe extended left. Feeds it low to Colby Lee. Colby Lee mid alley left. Backing down on Petrushev. Goes up on Petrushev and did he travel? He traveled. Mm. So BYU's seventh turnover. Make it eighth turnover. And Gonzaga with the 11-point lead as this thing gets toward halftime and the lead increases for the home side. 28-17, Gonzaga leading BYU with 5.50 to play until halftime. Joel Ayayi runs it to the top of the key, terminates on the right wing, left wing pass to Kispert. Kispert stepping back and then passing low to Petrushev. And... Yeah, finally got a three-second three second call on Petrusha. I've been seeing that all night, and they finally get him. Let me turn over number seven for Gonzaga. So they've also turned it over seven times. But you uh, are you paying the steeper cost so far tonight? 28-17, Gonzaga. Cougars had 13 points seven <laughs> seven minutes ago. Yeah, they're, they're, these droughts hurt. Here's Hawes. TJ will drive, float, miss, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws. 5.33 to go. And TJ to end this drought and get the Cougs back on the board from the stripe. Timmy picked it up. On Timmy number one, on Gonzaga number four. And TJ will shoot two. I think that's the best play for BYU is Haas coming off the high screen and trying to get in the paint, pull up for 15, go to the hoop, or draw the defense down, dish it off. That's, That's what's working for BYU. It's been a weird year at the free throw line for TJ. I mean, a he, miss. Was, he was so good last year. He was up around 90, and he's hovering in mid 60s. His first free throw attempt in two and a half games missed. Second is good. So BYU down exactly 10, 28 to 18. And BYU's had just a one field goal in the last to seven minutes. Tilly up top to Kispert. Kispert lost Harding. It pulls up for a long two that's no good. Offensive rebound again. And a reset to Kispert. He'll drive it to the paint. Pivot in the paint. Hand high to Timmy. Timmy Woolridge for three. Top of the key. And that's no good. Rebound again, Gonzaga. Ayayi resets. Three. Good by Tilly. Two rebounds by Ayayi over TJ Haas. And three-point shooting continues to be the difference maker. 
Gonzaga, 4 for 11, BYU 0 for 5, and the lead now a game high 13 at 31 to 18. Too many extended possessions for Gonzaga as TJ loses the dribble and turns it over, and here comes Gonzaga breaking the other way. Tilly to the rim, tried to hammer it home. The dunk is missed and goes out of bounds. It's BYU basketball, 4.38 to go until halftime. This BYU team has turned it over eight times and has been outscored 10 to 4 in points off of turnovers. That's how they get you. They frustrate you. You try to do too much. You turn it over, and then it's off to the races. BYU you fortunate not to get a, a thunder hammer dunk from Tilly. This is the killer number right now. Well, there's two. I gave you three pointers. 4 to 0, and offensive rebound 7 to 1. We've had multiple offensive rebound possessions. Second chance points, 10 to 2. Gonzaga. Toulson in the mid-alley left, looking for help and has it in Hawes, left wing. BYU needs a make here. 4.20 to play, and the Kooks down 13. Toulson will drive it into the painted area. Jump up with the right hand is good. There it is. Jake Toulson draws BYU within 11, 31 to 20. Keep this thing close here at the break. Tilly, right wing Woolridge. Dribbles to the top of the arc. Restarts on Hawes. Avoids swatting hands and the pass goes Tilly topside Ayayi. Ayayi drops it low to Timmy. Ayayi open for three will drive the key, pull it under the baseline and pull it to the right wing. It cycled Woolridge to Tilly for three left side and that's no good and oh no. Kobe Lee fouled him three free throws after this. 3.50 to go till halftime. Gonzaga by 11. They can make it 14 when we come back here on the new skin BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. In other local action, Arizona State leading Utah 49-40 with nine minutes to go in that game. And in Boise tonight, Utah State with a 32-17 lead over the Broncos. Back up to the kennel alongside Mark Durant. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Chef, thank you once again. Fans, did you know you can have your groceries waiting to be picked up or better yet, dropped off at your front door? It's all done online at smithsfoodanddrug.com or on their app on your phone. Download that Smith's app. You can save time. Shop online. 3.50 to go until halftime. BYU trailing number one, Gonzaga, 31-20. to 20. The story of the game so far, as I channel my inner purd happily, is that uh, Gonzaga... <laughs> Is, uh, is really making BYU pay both on the boards and on the arc. Yeah, it's frustrating. BYU is panicking a little. You know, you get behind. You're trying to make a play. You rush yourself. That's what Gonzaga does. The good players, they rush you. You feel like, i got to get this shot off quickly because they're so good. They're going to get to me. As we free come back good. in, Tilly and Tilly is shooting three free throws. He missed a three and was fouled on it by Colby Lee right before the timeout. I'm not a fan of the call. He got Colby, barely bumped him after he shot it. Tilly two for two and getting a third. He's a 74% free throw shooter, already 11 points, and nobody for BYU more than four tonight. Tilly for 12. Missed that one, harding the rebound. So two for three on that trip. It's important three, three, four minutes here for BYU to just stay in range. Tilly was under 10 points in three consecutive games coming in two tonight. He's got 11 in the first half. He comes alive against BYU. Colby Lee gets right to the rim, and the jump hook drops off the right, off the left hand. Beautifully done by Colby Lee. He's been BYU's best player. Six points. BYU's down 11, 33-22. Gilder. Right corner, Tilly. High to Gilder. Left wing, Ayayi. Ball reversed, left corner, Woolridge. Down to a 12-second shot clock. Woolridge stepping back and passing a load to Timmy. Timmy shoves Lee out of the way, and he answers with a jump hook of his own off the window. Drew Timmy's got four. The league's 13, 35-22. Gonzaga equaling its game-high cushion. Haas on the bump, guarded by Tilly. Tilly does well to stay with Haas, who hands off right wing to Jake Toulson. Toulson left wing, Harding. Harding, 25 feet away on the left, on the arc, guarded by Ayayi. Takes him to the left base, posts him up, gets right beneath the basket. Pivoting. Up nice. and good. What a move. And he had a size advantage on Ayayi and just kept going. Just nice. flip it up right beneath yeah. the basket. Soft little shot from Connor. BYU draws within 11 here. Can they make it single digits here before halftime? 2.30 to go till the break. Tilly up top. Right wing Gilder. Deep three. No. Rebound. Again. Gonzaga. 8-1 to one offensive rebounds. Ayayi hangs, doesn't hit. Rebound. BYU this time. 
and bodies clear off the floor beneath the basket. BYU can get within single digits here. 35-24, Cougars trail it. 2-10 to go till halftime. When's that first three going to come? The Cougs 0 for 5 from deep. Jake Toulson on the post up. Fade away with a right hand. No, doesn't go on the hook. And the rebound, Gonzaga. Toulson is 2 of 5 shooting. Bullridge drives the base, gets past Toulson. A blind flip that's nowhere close and taken out of the air by Toulson. So back to front court we go. BYU's uh, Jake Toulson, by the way, two for six, not two for five. Is that three's missed left yeah, wing by Zach? Three. BYU's 0 for six from the three point line now. 35 24, 90 seconds to go till halftime. One of the best three point teams in the country, BYU, has really struggled as Tilly will drive and not hit, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws with 127 to go. That was a Zach Selyus three-pointer miss. So Zach, after going 5 for 5 two games ago, has gone 0 for his last six from the three-point line. That was on Toulson. Tilly at the line again. First uh, misses again. That's two, two misses in a row. Be a good time this next possession for BYU to get their first three. I did. You know, Gonzaga's a good defensive three-point team, no doubt. But BYU's had plenty of looks that uh, normally would have gone, just have not. It's been the ball game here tonight. Four threes made by Gonzaga and none by BYU. It's a 12-point differential in a 14, in a uh, 12-point game, 36-24. So the disparity in scoring can be accounted for entirely from the three-point line. And BYU's a great three-point team. TJ to the bump, over the shoulder, open three. Got to get it, Zach, and he got it. There it is. Zach Selyus with BYU's first Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer of this night, and BYU's within nine with 109 to go till halftime. The lob low to Petrusha, bobbled beneath the basket and taken away. BYU on the steal. Jake Toulson down the barrel. Jake Toulson has Timmy backpedaling. TJ will fake a three. He'll drive the key, go behind the back, take Woolridge's low hang back, and hit! Oh, what a play by TJ Haas! And timeout taken. The Cougs within seven. Great flourish here to end the half so far. 51.3 to go until halftime. TJ, with a Zions Bank shot of the game, makes it 36-29 for a financial slam dunk. Zions Bank is for you. Heck of a job by TJ Haas. Body control and the make down low. Took a lot of contact, too, from Really, from the free throw line, he was getting bumped and no whistle, especially after that uh, ticky-tacky bump on the three from Colby Lee. But, yeah, BYU right back in this one. You get a stop here. I can imagine Zach is going to try and get a two-for-one, so you really tee up hard here, get a stop and score again. Man, you are sitting pretty. That's Zach Selye's three, $50 more donated to the American Red Cross, courtesy of Mountain America Credit Union. BYU's first three of the night. Man, did they need that. One for seven now from deep, but a big one as BYU's down seven. They had trailed by as many as 13 here in the first half. It's 36-29. Zags up, 51.3 to go until halftime. He said they'll run a 51-6. They'll run a quick play, make sure they get a two for one. So Gonzaga basketball 94 feet away. They bounce into Woolridge, and he'll take it past the timeline. Woolridge. Starts it right. Dribble handoff. Gilder. Gilder. Kispert between the circles. Kispert coming left side. The ball reversed to the right wing to Woolridge. Stripe extended on the right. Woolridge. Hesitation. Penetration. Handoff. Tilly. Tilly up and in at the rim. And 33 seconds to play. BYU may now play for what might be the final shot. The shot clock and the game clock are separated by about two seconds. But in the first half, that might just end the half if you take the, sh- the last shot. Either way, BYU within single digits right now at 38-29. 19 to go until halftime. TJ will take a long two and make it with 13.9 to play. 38-31. Now BYU plays for a stop here on the final possession of half number one. Cougs down seven. Just want to keep Gonzaga from going in with too much momentum. Just get a get a stop here to end the half. Really take away the three. That's a momentum killer. And, and just make sure you box out because that's hurt BYU and they'll be crashing the boards. 38-31. Sags leading it. Woolrich with 10 seconds. Left wing, Kispert for three. Missed it. Rebound, BYU. Time. With three and with two. 
And Harding for three. Get in. Oh, no. he missed it from the far <laughs> sideline from 40 feet. That would have been a big shot wow. in the arm. As it stands, seven-point game at the break. 38-31, Gonzaga leading BYU. Halftime recap next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.